The first subject is... <laughs> unlikely things to hear on Crime Watch. But before we see tonight's crime, <laughs> let's meet the judges. <laughs> Police say they are looking for a black man in his 20s and that they always will be. <laughs> Do you recognise this man? Thought not. It's Nick Clegg. <laughs> They say criminals always return to the scene of a crime, which is why we've probably got so many Australians over here. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next week, we'll be trying to solve the murders of the people who phoned up giving information on criminals this week. <laughs> Today, we're looking at identity theft. I'm... <laughs> All the victims are deaf, dumb or blind. These are senseless killings. <laughs> <laughs> Baffled police are appealing for help. Do you know where Wally is? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... If you're being interrogated by the police and they're recording the interview, just make sure that every so often you go... Ow! <laughs> Tonight, the great train robbery. London to Glasgow, £235 return. <laughs> Tonight, we're looking for the man who keeps on burgling my home every time I present this programme. <laughs> Allow and work with a crime watch. I'm your host, Ray Winson. Leave it, you slag! <laughs> Don't go camping in the countryside. Have you noticed that whenever the police find a body, it's always in a tent? <laughs> Hello, I'm Nick Ross, and tonight I'm asking, who stole my fucking job? <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear on a TV election debate. The truth. <laughs> <laughs> Labour, ready! Tories, ready! <laughs> Bring on the wall! <laughs> I think of this studio as a second home, which is why I'm claiming expenses for it. <laughs> <laughs> and the lines have closed. Gordon, it could be you. David, <laughs> it could be you. Nick, it's not going to be <laughs> you. <laughs> we in the Tory party are going to give the north of England a huge boost and then all the people can come out and lick the chocolate off it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're elected, you'll raise taxes. If your mum's elected, she will. <laughs> <laughs> it's me who got you into this mess, and it's him that will get you out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of that round, Gordon, you've scored no points. <laughs> I'm really very, very proud of my working class roots. Uh, when I was growing up, we only had an outside toilet. Eventually, we got enough money to buy a house. <laughs> Cheryl, tonight, you're going to be mentoring the Lib Dems. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know, Pick. What's your real name? <laughs> How will we shorten waiting lists? Simple. By letting the weak die. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <coughs> I am the Messiah. <laughs> and the Queen is a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. 
I am almost certain that was a floating voter. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear from a weather forecaster. The Met Office have issued a weather warning. They've told the weather not to do that again or there'll be trouble. <laughs> Temperatures could rise to 31 degrees. Shit, I've left my baby in the car! <laughs> <laughs> a hurricane tonight will be caused by low pressure and God's hatred of homosexuality. <laughs> a huge depression over Scotland and now the weather. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, a warning to hay fever sufferers. Don't come sneezing near me or I'll rip your face off. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's the summary. Monday shite, Tuesday shite, Wednesday shite, Thursday bollocks. <laughs> the humidity's rising. The barometer's going low. <laughs> Tonight, for the first time, just about half past ten, <laughs> it's going to start raining men. <laughs> The outlook's bright for the weekend. I've got three grams of coke in my pocket and my wife's on holiday. <laughs> well, let's go to Carol on the roof of Television Centre. She's not meant to be there. She's just a bit depressed. <laughs> <laughs> this part of the country is going to stay hot and wet for quite some time because that's where my girlfriend lives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, it's going to be between 17 and 21, but Berlusconi won't date older than that. <laughs> it was raining cats and dogs last night. I should know. I was throwing them off my roof. <laughs> what are you watching me for? Look out the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be cloudier tonight. I love those German birds. <laughs> What do you care what the weather's going to be like? You look shit in all your clothes. <laughs> the next topic is... Deleted lines from Star Trek. Kirk to Enterprise. OK, how about if I stand over here? <laughs> Scotty, that's the most convincing your accent has ever been. <laughs> Captain, I can see an alien ship approaching. It's not showing up on the radar. It's a circular vessel, some sort of lettering and number... Oh, no, sorry, it's my, it's my tax disc. <laughs> I have no emotion. My mother was a Vulcan. My father was Gordon Brown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one of you ate my Scotch egg? <laughs> This is the Federation of Gay Planets. Open your docking bay and prepare to be boarded. <laughs> Tell you what, Spock, your towel is a lot softer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's log, just seen some aliens. OMG, WTF, LOL, smiley face. <laughs> Who are these terrifying aliens? You can't call them that anymore, Captain. <laughs> it's Uhuru and Sulu. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the SS Enterprise, Mr Eccleston. <laughs> now, which one of you put your red top in the washing with all the yellow ones? <laughs> uh, there's going to be some changes around here. They call me Captain Tatty Bojangles. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Captain Picard? What's wrong? I'm a serious Shakespearean actor, <laughs> and I'm talking to the ambassador of the fucking worm people! Likely things to hear on a survival show. I was first taught to eat in the bush by a French girl I went out with at university. <laughs> <laughs> to get the fish, break the ice, Jump the checkout and run! <laughs> Not only is this lake good for fish, but we can also put a body in it. 
Using excrement, mud and twigs, they've made primitive bedding here at the Premier Travel Lodge. <laughs> I'm in the Congo. Let's sell this once and for all. Do you boys like Umbungo? <laughs> <laughs> Here I am in the jungle. The mighty jungle. <laughs> I win my way, I win my way, I win... <laughs> but who are the truly civilised? Is it the Mbupi tribe or is it us with our books, our medicine and our internet? Oh, yes, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> of course, food is a scarce and valuable resource to these tribes, people. So I've just bagged myself two nights with this fella's wife for a Twix. <laughs> you know, Ant and Deck think that their jungle's pretty tough. Well, they joined me today, there was no food, so I ate them. <laughs> the villagers get up early and walk five miles to fetch clean water every day, which begs the question, why not move the village closer? <laughs> The strong, powerful sun is making me sweat. Oh, shit, here comes his dad. <laughs> I've been living in these woods for three weeks now, but that's what happens if you're married to the Home Secretary and she catches you watching porn. <laughs> I'm Bear Grylls, and this is my brother, Wolf Stir Fry. <laughs> I've just achieved my life's ambition of climbing Everest with no food and no equipment. Now do you love me, Daddy? <laughs> now do you love me? <laughs> OK, the next topic is... <laughs> unlikely things to read on a packet. Ragu sauce. If you gave this to someone who is actually from Italy, they'd punch you in the face. <laughs> To open, push down tab, break tab, swear repeatedly, STAB WITH A PAIR OF SCISSORS! <laughs> <laughs> Serves four, you greedy bastard. Now put some of that back. <laughs> Viagra are proud sponsors of Andy Murray for people who can only ever achieve a semi. Bag may also be used for autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> Fair trade coffee. If you don't like it, you're racist. <laughs> Sunny Delight counts towards your five a day as minus two. <laughs> to stop diarrhea, take one teaspoon and shove it up your ass. <laughs> Adults and children over 12 years. Try not to get those two mixed up. <laughs> Cup of soup. Just add soup. <laughs> Best before date, Rehypnol. <laughs> Serving suggestion. On a plate, you thick moron. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at an award ceremony. Our next award is for most inaccurate weather forecast of the year. Let's look at the 9,000 nominees. <laughs> Welcome to the Islamic Awards for Acting, or as we call them, the Moscas. <laughs> God, well, oh, God, so many people to thank. Um, where to begin? Uh, obvious one, I suppose, Hitler. Uh, what, 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 what? <laughs> And the award for best envelope glue goes to... <laughs> <laughs> now, Teacher of the Year. Quieten down. It's your own time you're wasting. <laughs> time now for us to celebrate some of the stars of show business who sadly are still with us. <laughs> I'll just open the envelope. Uh, oh, it's full of gold. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Academy Award for Special Effects goes to the team behind Gordon Brown's smile. <laughs> and now we're going to watch a film showing some of the people that we've lost this year, including two you didn't even know were dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd bang that, I'd bang that, wouldn't bang that, I'd bang that. <laughs> anyway, the award for Best Actress goes to... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Accident at Work Awards. <laughs> <laughs> and winner of the Suicide Bomber of the Year. I'm afraid they couldn't be with us tonight. <laughs> and the winner of the best scientist in physics is... There's no ramp, Stephen Hawkins. It's not you. <laughs> The next category is things you wouldn't want to hear on a cruise. This is your captain speaking. Welcome to Somali Cruises. <laughs> We've heard reports of an iceberg, but don't worry, no ship has ever been sunk by a lettuce. Hello and welcome to Ryanair Cruises. The following safety announcement is incredibly vital if you want to stay alive. And if you'd like to hear that, that'll be an extra five pounds. <laughs> 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 no, no, we very rarely get any injuries from people playing quoits. You were just unlucky to be sunbathing naked with an erection. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were on this last year when it sunk. <laughs> If you look to your left, there's a man-eating squid. After that, he's having chips. <laughs> I would like to apologise for the rocking of this boat, but we are currently being humped by a whale. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming to the show. I've got to be honest, it's been a while since I've sung this one. Do you want to be in my gang, my gang? <laughs> Welcome to Rita's Erotic Ping Pong Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Two fat ladies, eh? All the threes, 33. <laughs> oh, some hobnobs. <laughs> For those of you gathering on the car deck, I said we would soon be docking, not dogging. <laughs> I'm looking for a really old husband with money. How's your heart? <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm in the cabin next to yours. Yeah. Could you be a bit noisy when you're having sex? <laughs> <laughs> there appears to have been an incident in the swimming pool. If a Mr Barrymore could contact the captain... Bad things for a by-election candidate to say. I would like to kiss your baby, but we don't want to go down that road again. <laughs> <laughs> I am the perfect candidate. This is an election, and I am bi. <laughs> <laughs> Vote for me, Doris McGarvey! I'd like to say no relation, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Power gives me wood. <laughs> I've been knocking on doors in this constituency for weeks, and it's completely unconnected to the recent stranglings. <laughs> knife crime must end. Just last week, I was given a steak knife when I clearly ordered the fish. <laughs> if elected, living standards will go up. For me and my wife. <laughs> I would say the fact that the Labour Party haven't put forward a candidate has not devalued this election at all. Ask my fellow opponents, Timmy Mallet, Elvis and the Honey Monster. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to bring crime in this constituency down by patrolling the streets at night dressed as a man leopard. <laughs> impeccable green credentials because I've never used deodorant or had a bath. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about politics, 
but I can crush a ripe pear between my buttocks. <laughs> OK, the next topic is unnerving things to hear during a medical examination. Yes, uh, I'll be operating. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Come here, you've got to look at this! <laughs> <laughs> That's your smear test done, and I do have some bad news. I'm the janitor. Yes, well, it's definitely stuck up there. <laughs> we may, uh, we may have to use the ferret. <laughs> uh, so, if you'd like to just pop your clothes over there, next to mine. <laughs> You'll live for about a week. <laughs> Well, there's good news and bad news, but don't worry, I can give the good news to your widow. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, panic over, it was just a spider on the microscope. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how does it feel if I touch you here? And here? And there? <laughs> work, but every time I prescribe them, I get a free pen. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't have your old hip back, Mrs Smith. I fed it to my dog. <laughs> this is one of the healthiest x-rays I've ever seen. But if we compare that with yours... <laughs> Right, um, I thought for a change, um, I could cough and you could hold my balls. <laughs> you have the body of someone half your age growing inside your womb. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's good news, you've had a baby. And the bad news, it's blown your cock off. <laughs> Deleted lines from a fantasy film. I am Aragorn, son of Arathorn, the heir to Isildur and part of the Fellowship of the Ring. Please leave a message after the tone. <laughs> Ron had been suffering from swine flu and people were avoiding him. Luckily, he was ginger and he was used to it. <laughs> mm. I don't know why you're so upset, Harry. The original Dumbledore died three films ago and no-one gave a shit. <laughs> Did you find Narnia in the wardrobe? No, Edmund. We found your porn stash. <laughs> My friends, we will never hear the word Mordor again. Taggart has been cancelled. <laughs> no, Harry, it's not a five-headed dog. It's girls allowed! <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> I am Aslan, formed by the merger of Asda and Matalan. <laughs> we had only been there for a day, but to us it felt like 15 years. That's Birmingham! <laughs> Did you honestly think I could be defeated by someone younger? I am Arlene Phillips! <laughs> Welcome to Mordor, twinned with Swansea. <laughs> <laughs> this will never work, Frodo. <laughs> In the wardrobe, we found a magical compartment that led to the Fritzel family. No, it's in my pocket. <laughs> you all right, John? How's it going, all right? Yeah. How's the kids? All right? See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a dwarf, I'm a lesbian. 
The next topic is... Things you don't want to hear from your flatmates. That's my milk in the fridge. I squeeze it out of my tits with a vice. <laughs> no, we can't share the electricity bill. I've got a phone charger and a laptop, and you're on a life support machine. <laughs> My last flat was just like friends. Have you seen the one where Joey kills everybody? <laughs> I love talking to you. With you, I can be my real self. <laughs> <laughs> There's just two of us. Well, three if you count God. <laughs> I'd give it ten minutes in the toilet if I were you. That one could talk. <laughs> Well, if you don't think I'm a nosy bastard, why did you write that in your diary? <laughs> oh, that! That's just a novelty shower gel in the shape of a webcam. <laughs> hey, you said there wasn't enough room to swing a cat. Look at this. <laughs> Loads of room. <laughs> oh, uh, a Mr G had called? <laughs> he says it's time. <laughs> I don't see why I should pay for half the lural when I never use any. <laughs> I tell you what, that Hoover is powerful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's there's one certain way to find out who ate my <clears throat> yogurt: an AIDS test. <laughs> Unlikely things to read in a Valentine's Day card. I may be dyslexic, but that doesn't mean I don't vol you. <laughs> <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. I've got something nasty, and now so do you. <laughs> you make me so hot, I can't stop thinking about you. Lots of love, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day on this 24th of February. Love, Royal Mail. <laughs> <laughs> You're the perfect person for me. Pissed and gagging for it. <laughs> Be my Valentine or die in a well. <laughs> <laughs> I love your eyes, I love your nose, I love your smell. Why must you be a Labrador? <laughs> Do we have to go through this shit every year? <laughs> you make my pants hot. Yours, Omar Farouk Abdul Mutalam. <laughs> to my darling wife. Roses are red, violets are blue. Valentine's Day is consumerist bullshit. Now, haven't you got some ironing to do? <laughs> Roses are red, poppies are red, the grass is all red. Shit, the garden's on fire! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of a man for the ladies. Doesn't matter how clearly the gents are signposted. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you like no other. But never again les up with my mother. <laughs> Life with me, baby, is like a roller coaster. It's got a weight restriction. <laughs> <laughs> there are just three words I want to say. Dream on, bitch. <laughs> OK, next up it is... <laughs> on Life with me here in the science programme. 1643. The cold air balloon is invented. <laughs> but it doesn't really take off. <laughs> For Einstein, it was easy to choose a DJ name. He would be MC Squared. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr Gillian McKeith, and today I'll be sifting through your poop. Why? <laughs> because I was never hugged as a child. <laughs> Now on five, crop circles, 
Myth or bollocks? <laughs> Next, to demonstrate chaos theory, we've locked Boris Johnson in a room with an aardvark and some magic mushrooms. <laughs> I was the man who discovered DNA. I wasn't going to call it that, but I was giving a lecture to the Royal Society, and I said, gentlemen, I believe I've discovered the genetic fingerprint of all human life. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> I've been Richard Dawkins. Good night, and God bless. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Thanks to carbon dating, this skeleton is now going out with a short-sighted geology student who likes thin people that don't talk much. <laughs> 1891. Sir Alexander Graham Benn receives the first wrong number telephone call. <laughs> he realised that this equation was going to take him absolutely years. So he switched to a media studies course, which was a piece of piss. <laughs> I did have here a pie chart to demonstrate obesity. <laughs> Apart from the human, the only animal to enjoy having sex is a dolphin. I had to shag a lot of animals to find that out. <laughs> I'm a meerkat, she's not lying. <laughs> Tonight we'll be discussing molecular science. Our guests are Sir Patrick Moore, Robert Winston and Dappy off of N-dubs. <laughs> <laughs> With their tiny arms, could the T-Rex self-pleasure? Let's find out in another edition of Wanking with Dinosaurs. <laughs> You're unlikely to hear on a quiz show. <laughs> Here is your start of a ten. Spring rolls, sesame toast, and chili balls with corn. <laughs> oh, and welcome to Ask the Family. Mr. Fritzel, where's the rest of them? <laughs> Hello, we're Ant and Deck, and welcome to Double Our Money. Uh, double your money. <laughs> I'm Ann Robinson, and if my Botox wears off, my face will turn into a scrotum. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at what you could have won if you went to school. <laughs> <laughs> Name? Ted Smith. Occupation? Carpenter. And your chosen specialised subject? The life and work of the carpenter Ted Smith. <laughs> <laughs> For a million pounds, complete this well-known phrase. The... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'd like a vowel, vowel, mm. vowel, <laughs> vowel, <laughs> vowel, <laughs> zzz, is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Richard Whiteley. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did <laughs> Welcome to Inflation Adjusted. Who wants to be a Zimbabwe millionaire? <laughs> It's the banker. He says he's got your kids. <laughs> and your question is on celebrities. What jocular Irish host of the popular show Mock the Week is known by his friends as Dobby for his uncanny resemblance to the house elf in Harry Potter? <laughs> <laughs> the next topic is things that would change the atmosphere at a dinner party. Ignore the banging. She's been in there for 24 years. <laughs> Help yourself to Nibbles. He was our favourite hamster, but it's what he would have wanted. <laughs> Are you sure this is pork? <laughs> it's just because Mike Crackling has a tattoo. <laughs> don't worry, we don't say grace. We just sacrifice a child to the great god Imhotep. <laughs> Doorbell! Excellent. That'll be Heather Mills and James Blunt. Opie's brought his guitar. <laughs> I hope nobody's allergic to nuts, because I like to rest mine on the table. <laughs> Whoa! 
Well, this is absolutely lovely. I say we all raise a glass to the floor! <laughs> Ten of you arrived, only one will leave. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, long story short, after about two hours, you couldn't tell what was poo and what was chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> there is a vegetarian option. You can fuck off. <laughs> <clears throat> Unlikely things to hear on a consumer programme. I'm Adrian Childs, <laughs> and I was shocked by the new Shrek film. <laughs> I've not been paid for it, <laughs> but I seem to be starring in it. <laughs> Consumer scams are on the increase. If you'd like to find out how to stop them, send us your name and address, your date of birth, and your mother's maiden name. <laughs> I've just found out my jumper was made by Indian slave children. Can I just say they did a wonderful job? <laughs> Next, we speak to Barbara, who was devastated when she bought Daniel Beddingfield tickets that turned out to be genuine. <laughs> At first, the company seemed willing to compromise. Then we sent them a letter from Nicky Campbell and they told us to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be on this show next week because I'm going off to Nigeria to pick up my lottery winnings. <laughs> Last week, we said that we were going to expose London's security scene. This week, we say, there's been a misunderstanding. Could I please have my kids back? <laughs> <laughs> On closer inspection, Mrs Wilkins, your hamster's jacuzzi would appear to be a food blender. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Nicky Campbell, and I've been ploughing through the usual five sacks of hate mail <laughs> to find this letter complaining about washing powder. <laughs> <laughs> Today, as I stand before you penniless in the last clothes I own, we ask, is divorce biased in favour of the greedy bitch who left me? <laughs> <laughs> we got there, the weather were crap, the food were crap, the locals were racist. What a bloody brilliant holiday! <laughs> <laughs> of the half-dozen condoms we tested, all but two burst in my stomach. <laughs> Robinson, <laughs> and without plastic surgery, I'd look like E.T.'s balls. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Things a sports commentator would never say. Oh, that called in the video referee. Which is better, alien or predator? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, and that's a beautiful uppercut. And another one. But, hey, the DJ is still not going to mm. change the track. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy White holding up the cue there as he collapses at the telenoid bins. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Robot Wars. Cruncher, ready! Stephen Hawkins, ready. <laughs> <laughs> and England have won the Ashes. <laughs> <laughs> It's the women's 100 metres final, and from left to right, it's no, no, yes, <laughs> maybe, from behind. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> the Queen smashes Camilla in the face and Prince Philip hits her with a hammer. This is what I call a royal rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Venus Williams has brought something different to the <laughs> ladies' game. Male genitalia. <laughs> 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 Oh, he's great with a dead ball. When I had one, I had to sit down for a week. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, think that massive widescreen close-up of the wedgie goes some way to explaining why we don't normally televise judo. <laughs> <laughs> and that bloody smear is the reason you don't see a lot of streakers in Formula One. <laughs> Some people on the pitch, they think it's all over. It is now. The Chinese secret police have shot them. <laughs> well, he's finally got his head down. His hands are firmly round the shaft. 
Which is why I'm handing over to John Inverdale. How do things to get through your letterbox? Royal Mail parcel delivery. We called, you were in, so we ran away before you could answer. <laughs> Just three pounds a month will save last year's X Factor winner from starving. <laughs> Do you know what's in your attic? It's me, I've been there since Christmas. <laughs> Have you seen this dog? No, maybe your windows are too dirty. Oh, Kevin, the window cleaner. <laughs> Are you looking for a dog walking service? Then call Ace Kebabs on 318318. <laughs> Computer problems? Let me come round and swear at it. <laughs> Why has your girlfriend stopped changing near the window? Love Dad. <laughs> Pizza. Buy one, pay full price. <laughs> How's my driving? Call 0800 crashed into your house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear Miss Winehouse, congratulations on turning 100. Best wishes, the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Need a room clearing? Call me. I'll come round and fart in it. <laughs> Looking for an undertaker? Why not call Ace Kebabs <laughs> on 318? <laughs> Gardening service, middle of the night, a speciality. Call Rose West on Broadmoor. <laughs> too, uh, too soon, too soon. <laughs> Hello, my name's Ashley Cole. Here's a picture of me naked. <laughs> Would you recognise a fake ID? No? Great, I'll be back in ten minutes. <laughs> The Taj Mahal Indian Restaurant, formerly Ace Kebabs. <laughs> Open your letterbox. It's me. <laughs> I'll get through one day. <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Things you wouldn't hear at the Winter Olympics. And here are the British ice dance pair, Heather Mills and John Sargent. <laughs> and now, over to Bob Sled. Bob, how's the curling? <laughs> <laughs> and while we wait for them to get set up there, we'll just pan the camera around. There's just a beautiful scenery. Oh, look, there's a herd of moose. Oh, no, that's the uh, Romanian women's ice hockey team. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big hill. Oh, that's long! That's very long! He's going to wish he'd done his flies up. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1am in the UK. You're watching the women's figure skating. Why not just bite the bullet and turn to Television X for the 10-minute preview? <laughs> 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 mm. And Britain comes away with two gold, two silver, and a bronze. Well, that'll teach the Austrians a lesson for leaving their locker open. <laughs> and with conditions here reaching a bitter minus 20 degrees centigrade, the British hopeful from Newcastle has put on a second string vest. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching the women's curling. Men's curling? Women's. You're watching the curling. <laughs> No one has more experience on the ice than him. What a wonderful game it's been so far for Pingu. <laughs> <laughs> and the conditions are perfect here, aren't they, John? Yes, they are, Bob. I haven't seen this much white powder since that stag weekend at a hotel in Bangkok. <laughs> Oh, and that's what ice hockey is all about. A man having his head repeatedly smashed into a glass wall. <laughs> <laughs> the ski jump will start as soon as the British skier takes his hand off the side and stops crying. <laughs> Commercials that never made it to air. 
masturbation. Are you getting your five a day? <laughs> ah. Worried about bankruptcy? Then why not paddle your canoe into the middle of the ocean? <laughs> Lidl's own brand shampoo, because you're worthless. <laughs> <laughs> if you hit me at 40 miles an hour, there's an 80% chance I'll die. If you hit me at 30 miles an hour, there's an 80% chance I'll live. Stop trying to hit me. <laughs> Poor and too lazy to cook. That's why mums shop at Iceland. <laughs> this isn't just a gimp mask. <laughs> this is an S and M gimp mask. <laughs> Do your knickers feel uncomfortable on? Try Bacardi Breezer. If you find flying boring, fly Qantas, you might die. <laughs> <laughs> the Daily Mail. Racist in public, so you don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Fern Breton, and this machine took two stone off me. <laughs> it's a bacon slicer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John McCain. Why not buy my fitness video? <laughs> Are you thinking of drinking and driving? Remember, the M20 is surprisingly quiet on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost your bags. We've lost your bags. <laughs> From Gillette comes the new sensor Uber 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 XL for that closest ever shave. In fact, this one slices your face like a potato peeler. <laughs> it's too close. Get the previous Gillette sensor. <laughs> it turns out we couldn't get closer than that one. <laughs> 31 million names on three great discs. Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. Now that's what I call a monumental cock up, Volume One. <laughs> Max Mosey doesn't do Nazi themed orgies, but if he did, they'd probably be the best <laughs> <laughs> Nazi themed orgies in the world. Okay, next up again. Bad things to hear on opening the door in the middle of the night. Hello, I'm Dar O'Brien. I'd like to talk to you about Mock the Week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back from my canoe trip. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a peeping Tom in your garden, but I warned him. This is my patch. <laughs> uh, I'll come to fix your washing machine. You asked for a call out between 12 and 5. <laughs> Hello, I'm afraid my cock is stuck in your letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm Max Mosley, and I've been a very naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid your husband's been murdered. Could I borrow a shovel? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Gordon Brown. Just hold me. At a job interview. What can I bring to the job? A burning hatred of the West, a hook for a hand, and a pilot's license. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the five year employment gap, yeah. I was canoeing. <laughs> right, I hope we can all be professional about the fact that I've just split up with all three of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really only here because I'm hoping to slip on a wet floor and then fall off a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've had a few changes of address, one wood scrubs, Broadmoor, but for the last three months I've lived in your air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm really into diversity. In my last team, I made sure that we had a black, a fruit and a fatty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have always wanted to work in a motel. I'm telling them, Mother, I'm telling them! <laughs> this job would be a great opportunity for me to steal a shitload of stationery. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I remember you from the dungeon. How you doing? It's me, Gimpy Terry. <laughs> I'm Gimpy Terry's mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sum myself up in three words. <laughs> I suppose it would have to be killer alien vagina. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean I'm underqualified to be a plumber? I'm five hours late. I've done a piss in your sink. <laughs> When can I start? Yesterday. But I can only work till today. <laughs> <laughs> nine till five, nine till five, my medication wears off at three. <laughs> <laughs> and the next topic is things you wouldn't hear on Songs of Praise. Hello, Canterbury, let's make some fucking noise! <laughs> Well, the locals here on the Shetland Isles have given us a tremendous welcome. Today we have our act of worship, and tomorrow they're burning me in a wicker man. <laughs> they call him G.O.D. and he the Big Daddy. He looked like me, but he more beardy. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sister Margaret, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> The parishioners will now go forward to receive communion if they can get past Atlas and Predator. <laughs> <laughs> Christians in one corner, Muslims in the other. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> well, the goat is strapped to the altar, so let's begin. <laughs> That was beautiful. <laughs> Such a shame there's no one actually up there to have heard it. <laughs> and we appear to have a streaker. No, one of the altar boys has escaped from the vestry. <laughs> <laughs> if you're enjoying this, why not turn over to BBC Three, where you can enjoy songs of praise uncut. <laughs> Well, now, Choir of the Week. They're not the Von Trapp family, but they were the Trapp family. It's the Fritzels from Austria! <laughs> you wouldn't hear in a superhero movie. To the Bat Caravan! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a superhero! Now, Russell, you've drawn an S on your forehead and you sprinkle glitter on your penis. <laughs> No, they call me Catwoman because I can lick my own arse. <laughs> hey, Lewis, just before we fly off, I want to check none of your liquids are over 100 millilitres. <laughs> You're trapped, Spider-Man, trapped in this enormous bath. <laughs> No, R. Kelly, you can't join the Fantastic Four. It's not enough to believe you can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Biff! Bam! Kapow! Nutted! Bottled! Slashed! <laughs> is it a bird? Is it a plane? Whatever it is, it's heading straight for the World Trade Center. <laughs> What do you mean the swastika's already taken? I've had my cape made now and everything. <laughs> so, tell me, why do they call you Flash? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I may not seem as dangerous as other supervillains, but soon I, Dr Sheep, <laughs> will rule the world. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> 
What's that, Joker? You'll be back. Somehow, I don't think you will be. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is unlikely letters for an agony aunt to receive. Dear Deirdre, I'm leaving you. <laughs> I want to trace my father. Could you suggest a good marker pen? <laughs> I have recently discovered the pleasures of butter in sex. I smear it on the doorknob to stop the kids coming in. <laughs> my voice is breaking and there is hair on my chest. Is this normal? Yours, Sally Jenkins, <laughs> age nine. <laughs> Dear bitch. I have trouble making friends. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Deirdre, can that giant man lift me up like a baby? <laughs> <laughs> you bet your asses, Dan. <laughs> I have been saving up for a sex change. I don't care what my wife says. She is going to have it! <laughs> Dear Auntie, my testicles are the size of space hoppers. I don't need any advice, I just wanted to tell someone. <laughs> <laughs> my husband and I are 82, and he has recently lost interest in sex. Thank God! <laughs> My wife says that I'm a compulsive liar. I think she's jealous that my reggae duet with Rio Ferdinand has reached number one. <laughs> I know where you live! <laughs> my problem is that I can only ejaculate when I hear a buzzer. 